with some of the participants because I've learned anything in this world is don't make too many assumptions about how well the next man can or cannot fight. All those kids you see getting picked on, you know what a whole lot of them started doing? Kung Fu, karate, something else, and they got something for you. And they look to be really into this, perhaps because they have been put onto a stage in which shame is on the line. But Masvidal, man, is so good at promoting fights. He is excellent at being interesting, and he's doing it while doing the job that he doesn't doesn't actually do that. Without being offensive, by the way. Coming up next, Kevin Durant opens up like his heart. All right, World Series. That at the, that's at National Park. Yep. They say, Whoa. Whoa. I feel like that's not the first time that that young gentleman has done that before. I'm pretty sure that it is. Quote, I'm just here to be myself. Say Kyrie Irving after the Nets fell to 1-3 and three on the season with a loss at home to the Pacers. Kyrie was asked after the game if he'd like to comment on the report that his mood swings make Nets officials queasy. Let's watch. Continue to write about mood swings. Like, you know, human beings have mood swings. <laughs> like, you go home and you're, you're not happy with things or you're mad at something and you're happy. That's a mood swing. <laughs> it's okay to be human. Like, I don't have to be perfect for anyone here, nor do I have to be perfect for the public. So I'm not here to dispel any perception. I'm just here to be myself. Pablo, is this a good answer? I think it was. And I say that with skepticism because a lot of this comes down to not merely are you having a mood swing, but are you holding yourself accountable? Are you being a good teammate? So on the court right now, he's averaging 35, 6, and 6. His teammates, his coaches are all backing him. So I'm inclined to give him the benefit of the doubt. But... Performance and backing up those words are kind of what's essential here. Yeah, except I'm not giving him a bit of a doubt. And the reason is it's pretty much universal at his last stop that his behavior had become a serious problem by the end of last year. For him to just be like, I am being me, I am only human. You got to be the best that you can. We have to trust that everybody's being the best that you can. But what happens if the best that you can on that is simply not good enough, right? Nobody is entitled to just let you be the person that you happen to be because that's just who you want to be. So I don't know what they've seen thus far. Apparently, there was some incident in China that gave them worry. But the reality is people worry about the way that Kyrie Irving behaves. Should they worry about it? He's almost reaching a point where the should part doesn't matter if it's universally an issue. Next quote. The Patriots don't take calls on Tom Brady, said Jamal Adams after reports that Jets GM Joe Douglas was shopping him around before the trade deadline. Let's listen to Adams describe how that made him feel. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't take that lightly. I, I, I really didn't. Um, um, you know, I, it definitely hurt me. You know what I mean? Um, I hold myself at a high level. You know, the Rams don't, they don't, they don't take calls on Aaron Donald. The Patriots don't take calls on Tom Brady. You know what I mean? Bo, is Adams overvaluing himself? Yeah, of course he is. But I always have to remember that the dynamic of pro sports is a little different where somebody can just decide they're going to put a stamp on you and send you to somebody else, right? So these are things that most people personally cannot relate to. But I'm not sure they shopped him. It sounds like they took calls on him. The question is, why do we know that they took calls on him? That sounds like they were inviting more calls, which I would have a problem with if I were him. I would have a problem with it if I'm him and I made a request and I consider myself better than others consider me. All of that I get. But the example he used is not a good one. Tom Brady... We know the Patriots are thinking hard about what to do with Tom Brady. The whole Jimmy Garoppolo incident where he gets shipped out to San Francisco, that was because they did not value Tom Brady the way Tom Brady values himself. The Patriots seem like maybe the worst example to bring up in that circumstance. Although I guess right now, though, if you call an acid trade for Tom Brady, it's not going to happen. Like, they definitely seem to be trying to find a way to get him out of there. But in the end, somebody said no. That guy doesn't feel like nobody was going to say no about trading him. Seven million. That's how much Trent Williams cost himself in salary by holding out all season. Pablo Williams reported to Washington on Tuesday, but he failed his physical yesterday. So do you see him playing for Washington at all this season? I do not see him playing for Washington at all, but I see this only getting more uncomfortable. The physical in question was apparently failed retroactively because he complained about something about his head, the head where that tumor was growing, that he disputes that the Washington football team handled well in terms of the medical treatment. So he is now here. He did not want to be here. He wants to have this year count towards free agency. 
but it seems like his employers can basically use a roster exemption or that physical to say, actually, you're not going to get that year. Yeah, but the wild thing about it is he showed up and the word that we got was that he showed up, but he didn't have any intention of playing. So after he showed up, what exactly was he going to do? Because look, if you're Washington and the dude's here and he's in shape, then we got to play him. Like we really got no other option than to put him on the field. And if you didn't come to play, I don't really understand what you came here for. And they did not trade him. They apparently had offers coming in real late at the deadline. And a lot of teams reportedly said, look, we were interested weeks ago. You guys weren't. We don't like that. So we're not going to let you ask for like a first rounder or a playmaker in return. Number. 10. That's how many times Kevin Durant has been an all-star. And today on First Take, he admitted that his beef with Draymond Green played a part in his decision to leave the Warriors. Let's watch. Because I didn't, I don't recall the answer to this question. Did that play a role in you leaving Golden State? A little bit, yeah, for sure. Do you want to expand, expand on that at all? Yeah, I mean, if, I mean, your teammate talked to you that way. You think about it a bit, but, you know. We talked, like I said, we talked about it, but definitely, for sure, I'm not going to lie about it. Bo, are you surprised to hear KD say that? No, not at all. If he had said that that was the reason that he left, I would understand it. But it sounds like he's basically saying this was one of many things that was involved in the decision to leave and that it would be disingenuous to say that it had nothing to do with it. But it also doesn't sound like it had everything to do with it. No, it sounds like Kevin Durant, to his credit, kind of read the situation kind of strategically. Earlier than anybody else, he kind of foresaw that this team maybe wasn't going to be the team that he wanted it to be in terms of a contender. And on that, he kind of gets to ride high because they are looking terrible right now. But when it comes to being called that word, I do understand why that's something that's really hard for one well, to no, get over. It was in front of a bunch of people. And don't forget that Draymond said, we won a championship with you. We'll win a championship without you. And while Kevin Durant is rehabbing. That's got to be pretty funny to him right now, right? They said, say, you ain't need me, huh? Look at these cats right now. You know how bad they wish they had Kevin Durant out there putting up some of these shots? A lot. They want that a lot. Highly questionable. Coming up next. Peace out, Canada. Hi, Irv.